Okay. Okay, right, start. Okay, so as usual, we'll begin by having that refresher to constantly remind you. I think brainwashing always works to me, I feel. Okay, so we have gone through the first element, which is jia, uh, wood. Huh? We have gone through wood. So wood is usually the first element, the element that is uh, symbolizes by growth, symbolizes by benevolence, huh? and also networking, huh? connection. Wood grows, uh, it grows woods. And then from wood, of course, we went on to fire. We went on to fire. And so fire, we have the pink and the thing. Uh, and of course, when we go through the yin and yang, uh, the characteristics of the fire will be that there are also similarities. There are also opposing characteristics. Uh, characteristics. Let's just say between the two types of fire, the pink or the thing, uh, which one is more independent? Which is more independent? Pink. 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 Uh, pink. Pink, pink is a yang fire. In a way, pink doesn't need anything. Huh? They, 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 the characteristics of the pink fire is they are the sun. They are up there, they shine, and they don't really need any other elements. While thing, of course, on the other side, is uh, it will, will need more. What, what does thing needs or welcomes the most? The wood. Wood. Huh? So thing needs wood. And what does wood Symbolizes what does wood symbolizes to the fire? Resource. 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 Uh, therefore, uh, thing is normally educated. Uh, thing is normally the passion is in learning. Uh, they consume resources. Uh, so therefore, they, they, they like to learn, they like to show the way. Uh, so they are motivational speakers, they are spiritual leaders, they are good teachers. Uh, so therefore, that is normally the symbolism for the thing. Uh, and of course, thing also welcomes what? What does the thing also becomes red? That's red. Right. So, thing likes to see red. Right? So, thing uh, welcomes the run, and when thing and run combines together, they produce what? Wood. Wood. Huh? Wood. Therefore, therefore, when you when you see run plus thing together, so run and thing together will produce wood. Huh? So, therefore, this is one of the six relationships. Huh? So, altogether, there are six combination in relationships, huh? as it is. And when we talk about pink, what does pink combines with? Uh, <clears throat> pink combines with... Uh, pink combines with... Pink. Pink combines with... Pink, sin metal. Sin metal, sin cool. No, not sin cool, sin cool. <laughs> Yin metal. Sorry, yin metal, correct. Huh? So, sin huh? is a yin metal. So, therefore, pink and sin produces what? Water. Water. Right? So, therefore, it produces water huh? into the part. Right? So, therefore, there are six relationships, and then we have your uh, the, the elements and we learn about combination, we learn about clashes. Huh? And then, of course, we later learn about harm, destructions, punishments, and so on. Huh? So these are the interactions of the five elements. Huh? So now we are on the journey of completing the first part, which is your day master. So you have the wood, your fire. What does fire produce? Fire produces earth. earth. Now, which production is faster? Wood produce fire is faster or fire produce earth is faster? Wood. Wood produce fire. Wood produce fire. Wood produce fire faster, isn't it? Passion. Yes. Huh? So therefore, because when fire consumes wood, it burns huh? uh, very fast. Therefore, that's where the, the consummate fire, the fire, con fire, fire is a big consumer. It consumes the wood. And so the production cycle is very, very fast. Huh? And fire producing earth is simmering. Huh? So for fire to produce ash, huh? right? the outcome is mostly slower. But what is the slowest of the all? What, which one is the slowest production of all? Earth produce matter. Earth produce matter. 
That's right. Earth produce matter, right? It's the slowest of all, right? Because uh, when Earth for Earth to produce diamonds, right, it will take millions of years. Right? So therefore, Earth people slow, right? they are procrastination. They procrastinate, right? They are slow producers, slow worker. Right? As we come into uh, today's topic on the Earth. Now, first of all, as you look into it, there are four seasons, of course. The season of winter, summer, spring, uh, spring and autumn. Now, which is the first animal of the of metal? Which is the first animal of the autumn? Monkey. Mm. Monkey. 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 Shen, huh? Shen. Monkey. What is the first animal for water? Pig. Uh. Huh? Pig. 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 All right. Very good. What is the first animal for uh, spring? Tiger. Tiger. Okay. And the first animal for fire? Snake. 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 Huh? Okay. So, therefore, these are, so these are the first animal, huh? the first animal sign for each season. And the first animal sign for each season is also the part of the member of the tree of the Trinity. Yeah? So let's say, for example, fire. And the first animal for fire is snake. And so what is the fire Trinity? Snake what? Uh, snake, uh, ox, snake, rooster. Eh? No what? <laughs> Trinity. Uh, no what? Eh? Ox, snake, rooster. <laughs> Okay. Correct, lah, correct. Yeah, correct, 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 yeah. yes, correct, correct. So therefore, snake, booster, ox is the fire tree. Okay. No, uh, it's for... metal produce, ma. Sorry? Metal. Is it metal? Uh, sorry, it's metal. It's metal trinity. Fire yeah. produces. All right, sorry. Yeah. How about tiger? Tiger, then what? Uh, tiger, tiger horse dog. Sorry. Tiger, tiger, tiger horse, horse dog. Dog. Okay. Is what 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 trinity? A fire. fire. Okay. How about the pig? The pig. Uh, pig, pig, Rab rabbit, goat. Rabbit. Pig, rabbit, goat. Rabbit, goat. High my way. Okay. Is the wood. And the last one is monkey. Monkey, the dragon red monkey water. How about dragon one? Uh? Dragon, we got no dragon one. Dragon red monkey ma, water. Are you talking about the water trinity? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Correct. Lah. Big red ox. Huh? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Oh, no. Confused. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, up. all mixed up already. All mixed up already. Okay, that one this is, is the combination. Yes, yes. Now, first of all, the last animal, the last animal will always be. What do uh, you mean? Graveyard. The graveyard story. The great bears. That's right. Is there also earth? Ma? Ox, dog, goat, and dragons are earth. Right. Correct, not? Correct. Ox, yes. is, ox, is, ox is earth, ma. Ox, dog, goat, and dragon, they are earth. So the last earth. animal is always the... Here. All the animals in the, all uh, the, animals in the middle... Of your speaker, if your home is noisy, please. Yeah. Okay, can I of them all, huh? Now, all the animals in the middle, these are all peach blossom. They're all peach blossom, correct? Get it, huh? Yes. Yeah, so they're all peach blossom. And all the animals in front, they are all the first element, the first sign, which are all growth. It's okay. Huh? So growth, peach blossom, and now there are five elements and there are only four seasons. 
Therefore, now the question is, Earth belongs to what season? And this will be quite a first important uh, part to consider. So therefore here, uh, let, let me just run through to a, to a little bit here. And so here we normally consider that Earth resides in the four diagonal location. And so now that this is more, this is later of course for more of the feng shui or pakji or chi mana whereby you have the, your diagonal, your diagonal. So, so the, in the diagonal, this will be your southeast. Uh, this will be your southwest. This will be your northwest. And this will be your uh, north -east. south. Northeast. North uh, north yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and this will be your north, northeast. So, uh, so Earth resides at the four diagonal uh, locations where the birth is at yin and shen, which means it is at your tiger and your mang monkey. Uh, tiger and monkey. Uh, therefore, at tiger and at monkey. Uh, so tiger and monkey. So tiger and monkey. So the birth, uh, the birth of the earth season uh, is in tiger and in monkey. And of course, uh, the wealth will then be uh, at si and hai. snake and pig uh, will be snake and pig. So snake and pig will be well. Uh, so therefore, birth, birth, and then this will be your wealth. Uh, so therefore, that will be the, the cycle uh, because here, because uh, it, now each of these trinity, each of these, now they are again, uh, just like a baby, uh, a baby is in a womb uh, for nine months. Uh, it's in a womb for nine months. Therefore, out of the 12 uh, to the nine, uh, therefore, this will be always uh, the nine. The, so, out of the 12 months in a year cycle, nine months, each of them uh, has nine months. Uh, snake, rooster, ox, nine months. Uh, so, the metal cycle has nine months. Each of them has nine months, huh? but the earth cycle is different. Huh? The earth cycle, so therefore, when you look into an earth, uh, oh, there's always unique. Huh? Each of these elements will be very unique. Now, if you can recall, when you look into a fire day master, what is the unique feature that is different from the rest? Uh. Fire can burn, can control all other elements. Fire can change, uh, uh, not, not control, change. Oh, okay. Fire, uh, fire is, that's why fire people are innovators. Huh? Fire are uh, scientists. Huh? Uh, first of all, thing they masters are smart, huh? uh, inventors. So fire are inventors. They are the element that can change. And when you look into the day master for fire, very unique and important is the time that they are born, huh? the hour that they are born. So if you look into a fire day master, time of birth is a very crucial information, a piece of information. Uh, more than others, uh, that means time is special. Uh, for earth, uh, for earth, of course, the season becomes, the, 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 the season to which they are born now becomes the more distinguishing feature, uh, the more of a distinguishing feature. Right. Uh, therefore, if they are born in spring and summer, uh, if they are born in spring and summer, then their useful God will be water. Yong Shen. Be... Uh. Who? Useful. Uh. Useful God. Need water. Uh, so, so what is unique when you look into Wu, when you look into the Wu Earth people? Uh, time, uh, time. That means a uh, season, uh, season, spring and summer. Uh, water will be the useful God because they need water to be fertile, to enable it to grow. Otherwise, it will be dry up. And then, when born in autumn and winter, then they need fire. Uh, they need fire. They need what? Fire. 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 Okay. Now, wood is known to be benevolent. 
fire is known to be passion. Earth is known for what? Trustworthy. Trust, that is right. Yeah, lawyer. Lawyer, not trust. Like the mountain that keeps a thousand things. Huh? The mountain uh, is quiet. Huh? The mountain hides. Therefore, you can trust an earth person. Huh? So therefore, that is what is what are they known for? Huh? So therefore, they are trustworthy. Hmm? So earth, huh? in, inside her earth is very mysterious. So generally on the overall, huh, as we look into earth, let's come to the top again. Uh, that's where listen and learn huh, represents trust. Huh? It represents trust, a uh, mountain. Huh? So, so, so the picture of a earth is mountain, huh? uh, so to speak. And... And the one thing about uh, Earth, of course, has a mountain. Mountain are not, they don't like to travel uh, so much. They are not movable. Therefore, uh, usually uh, in an office environment, how do you know who is an uh, Earth person? Uh? Uh, their desk, uh, uh, along their desk, they have almost everything there uh, because they like to have everything within their reach. Uh, uh? And the more Earth you have in your chart, the more of a hoarder you are. Right? Your house tends to keep a lot of things. Right? Uh, very reluctant to throw things away. They like to hoard. Right? They like to keep. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the imagery of mountain. And of course, the more mountain that you have, the more properties that you have as well. Now, therefore, Wu Earth is a very strong element. Right? Very, very strong. Many of the Hui Kong, right? the commander staff, is Wu, uh, that means Wu has many commander star and they are hoarder and they keep as well. And the useful God is water. What is water to Wu? Uh? Well, wealth, that's right. Therefore, business people making money uh, is also the domain of the Wu. Uh, uh, so, so, what are they known? Oh, they are known to be very trustworthy, but they are also known to procrastinate. Uh? They are known to be. Uh, the sense of very slow to produce very, uh, very uh, so-called uh, reluctant to, to change. Uh, so therefore, they are not an agent of change uh, because sometimes they can be very protective. They can also be very headstrong, uh, so to speak. Right, come, let's take a look into the earth. So trust is definitely on the go. Now, of course, for those who know uh, not to say I know Chinese a lot, uh, but I think uh, those who know what, what does this character represent? Uh? Spear. Uh, it represents a spear. Uh, as it is. And very funny, uh, because if you combine thing together, thing together, uh, thing plus this, uh, this symbol, it actually becomes uh, this symbol, uh, which is cheng, uh, which is uh, success, no? cheng ji, cheng gong. Therefore, uh, the symbolism for earth is they are like warrior, they are successful warrior. Therefore, that will be uh, the the words of the symbolism used for, uh, for, 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 for this particular uh, earth, uh, character. Therefore, very good qualities. Huh? Very, very good qualities. The only one setback is they are not good for speed. Huh? So they are not they are not master in execution, movements, no. But not necessary because uh, when we look into Wu Yin, then things can be a bit different. There's always an exception. Huh? There are always an exception. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, therefore, morality is part of them. Righteousness, centrality, Solid. Uh, this would be some of the hallmarks of a Wu Earth and commander uh, of all. They are generally Hui, uh, Hui Kong. Uh, Hui Kong is uh, a, a kind of uh, like, like one of those Shen Shang, uh, Shen Shas that uh, often talk about. Okay, but what is very vital for Wu Earth is uh, must be rooted. So uh, Wu Earth that is not rooted. Uh, then things will be very different. Huh? Okay, so I think let's take a look into Mark Zuckerberg. Huh? Mark Zuckerberg. So this is Mark Zuckerberg. 
Mark Zuckerberg is uh, Wu Shen, uh, so he is a, a Earth monkey person. Uh, so uh, we want to look in the question, is this chart rooted or not? Is this yes. chart rooted? Huh? Yes. Can you see? Yes, yes. Uh, therefore, if you see a Wu, uh, so, so very crucial, very crucial we want to consider is, first of all, uh, okay, now, uh, if you have this chart, first of all, you know that this is a Wu Day Master, so this is Earth Day Master. Earth Day Master, uh, two special occasions, number one is that it has to be rooted. Can you see it being rooted? Yes. Yes, okay. And very importantly, it's also season. What season is Mark Zuckerberg born in? Summer. Summer means useful God is what? Uh, summer useful God is fire. Fire is resource. Fire summer. is... Uh, useful God for summer. Useful God. Fire. Eh? Uh, summer is very hot radio. Yeah. Water. Water. Water, 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 yes, thank you. Summer, oh, summer, water. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. Spring and summer. Okay. Spring and summer are hot. Huh? When the season is hot, your useful God is water to regulate. So this is regulating God, huh? regulating God. Uh, when autumn and winter, then the useful God is fire. And therefore, when you look into this chart, this is solution. First is rooted, season is summer. If season is summer, then the useful God is water. Water. And si is what? Born in si. Si is what? Si is snake. Snake. Yeah. Snake. Summer. Uh, earth. Wealth at where? Wealth at where? Wealth at where? Snake and what is this? High. High is what? Pig. Pig. Okay. I know that from, from Ming, most of you are very familiar with S1, S2, E. Huh? Uh, slowly, R1, R2. Now suddenly it's all the Chinese character in both English and also in Chinese character. It's a bit of a transition. Huh? So, uh, city of wealth. Huh? Born in the wealth. Huh? Summer. And what, got water or not? This chart got water or not? This chart got uh, water yeah. or not? Hidden yeah, hidden in the year. Yeah. Hidden gold. And? Yeah. and hidden run. Yes, very nice. Huh? So this chart is a very nice chart. Huh? So Mark Zuckerberg huh, has a very nice chart. Huh? He's born in he's born on wealth and he has his useful God and he is his return. Huh? So therefore, very, very stable. Huh? Very nice. Okay, huh? as it is. And his career pillar, his career pillar is what is this? What is this to him? What is what is uh yin of chi of to the wu of? Uh, uh, what is a useful god? Uh, friend is same element. Uh, sorry, the rock well, the Rock, yeah, rock wealth, wealth not rock wealth. Uh, so rock wealth means what? Rock wealth also means partners. Partners and networking. Uh, networking. Okay. So if you see this chart, uh, then you will consider uh, networking uh, into this. All right, let's take a look into Michael Jackson. Uh, so Michael Jackson. So you want to see Michael Jackson. So Michael Jackson is also another. Movie. So to say that cannot dance is wrong, isn't it? Michael Jackson surely is one of those huh, who are well known for his dance move. Okay. So first of all, when you see a Wu of person, what do you want to see first? Once again, what is the first thing you want to check is the season. And secondly, you want to see whether is it? Rooted. Rooted. Season, what is this? Autumn. Autumn. Autumn means the useful God is? Fire. Fire. Got fire or not? Hidden, yes. Ping, ping. 
Okay, got thing, got thing. Good, huh? complex. So therefore, uh, got useful God? Yes. Yes. Uh, born in season, autumn. Huh? Should. Good. All right. So if if wood people born in these four animal signs, huh? uh, birth at, uh, birth at, of course, we're talking about the, the, the man. Huh? So therefore, talk about the man. These are all the strong huh? elements. Huh? Should. Man. Where there be growth. Okay, so therefore, that is for Michael... Jackson and is he rooted? Is there rooting? Yes. Who hidden and a year. Oh, so very, very rooted. Huh? So therefore, very, very good. Okay, I'll tell for this to be so therefore, yes. Yeah, so. Okay, so of course, we already learned about rooting, huh? even from the first day itself. So, but of course, now when we talk about Wu Earth, the very important is stability is to see where it's rooted. Because if it is not rooted, the chart can be very unstable. Huh? So therefore, the reading will be quite uh, the opposite by then already. Huh? So things, uh, these are a few things that we need to consider huh, when we check. All right. So what does a Wu need? So Wu needs. What does it need? Huh? So fire. Uh, therefore. If they are born. So, what is fire to a Wu Earth? That is resourceful and knowledge. Huh? So, Wu Mountain. Huh? If you look into Wu Mountain, what, what do they need? What do they really, really need? Huh? They need the pink fire. Uh, yin, more than dog. More than dog. Huh? Therefore, if you talk about Wu, if you talk about Wu Yin, Wu Yin. Wu Yin is the tiger, uh, tiger, earth tiger. Earth tiger is spring mountain. Spring mountain is beautiful with the sun. Wu Shi is, Wu Shu is ugly. Therefore, better don't see the sun. Uh, better don't see the sun. Uh, therefore, if you see Wu Earth, we want to see pink fire. Uh, therefore, Good to see pink fire. Huh? Therefore, that will be it, huh? so good to see pink fire. Huh? So therefore, if you want to consider whether got fire, uh, when you see the wood, huh? that will be the symbolism. And so what is pink? Pink represents resource. So it represents the indirect resource. Huh? But for autumn mountain, for autumn mountain, thing fire is the battle star. Right? Thing represents the direct resource. Right. So we so for whoever we want to consider the useful gods will be fire or water. Fire or water. Right. Now, so therefore that will be the broad symbolism for it. So when you see Wu Earth, it means strong. It means uh, it means uh, so-called trust and it's also very resourceful. Uh, very who people more quiet, huh? they are more quiet. Like the mountain, they don't talk. Uh, next week, when I look into the Chi Earth, oh, you, I tell you, uh, Chi Earth, uh, mulut chalupa, uh, they talk non stop. Uh, they just love to talk. All right, uh, I tell you, this will be the two different sides of the story. Yeah? Okay, and so now let's bring us to again the six day master. After all, together, we would have all the 60 day master, see whether we can. Remember them or not. Huh? Uh, then, of course, once we finish, then the next part is like Mahjong. Huh? Uh, we have to play the 60, combine them together and see how it goes huh? into it. Okay, I think you should know by now which of these six Wu Day Master can pull in money. On? Which one can pull in the money? Uh, mon monkey. Monkey. Monkey? Yeah. Why monkey? Yeah? Why monkey? Shen? Shen, yeah. Chi? And what? Uh, Shen Chi? Chen. Shen? If you don't, okay. This what, one what has is, water. Sorry? 
water. As water lah. So shen, monkey. Ji, shen ji shen. Correct. Yep. Huh? Yep. Yeah, right. Shen ji shen. Shen ji shen is all is water, isn't it? Correct. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, all of them also yang, isn't it? Yang, yang, and yang. Right? So three yang. So therefore, these three pulls in money. So therefore, even everyone in a way, lah, broadly saying, out of the six, huh, three of them are members of the water trinity. So that is why from the earlier part, who earth people are entrepreneur. Huh? They can make money. One, huh? The ability to make money is there. And the, and the uh, tenacity, huh? the strength of doing so is there. Huh? So therefore, they do so. All right. And what is the other one? What is the other one? The what what is yin? Huh? Yeah, yin. Wu, she is what? Fire. Fire. Yin. Wu. Shu. Shu. Yin wu shu is fire. Fire is resource. Huh? Fire is resource. Therefore, half of them are resource. Half of them are wealth. Huh? Therefore, that is why. Huh? That, that, that is it. So, therefore, the six animals here. They are either on, uh, either they are, can pull in fire or they can pull in water. Both also very good because fire is nobleman. Uh, fire is resource. Uh. Resource is also a very essential tool as well. Therefore, that is the power of the Wu. Uh, the wu. Either pull the fire, pull in the fire or pull in the water. Uh. So yeah. therefore, that will be the consistency there. All right. Uh. Therefore, this will be how you look into the six signs of the Wu uh, that you can see as well. All right, so let's start off with the first element, Wu Zi. Uh, this is, of course, uh, which one is future? That means earth sitting on water. Water. Uh, first one, not uh, earth sitting on water. Now, in the first instant, the first one, no? Uh, Earth sitting on water will be unstable. Therefore, of all the six Wu Earth, of all the six Wu Earth, this one need to be rooted the most. Huh? They need to be rooted the most. Uh, they need to be rooted the most. Because if they are not rooted, Collapse. Of course, this one is already auto routing, lah. Automatic, I got routing ready, huh? Therefore, automatically routed ready. Automatically routed ready. Uh, therefore, uh, you can see, yeah. Uh, all, all these all automatically routed ready. This one sitting on fire is sitting on resource. Therefore, no worries. So therefore, all of them no worries, huh? Uh, uh, they are all like uh, actually they they are they're actually most of the time uh, two third of all time are uh, no need to check one uh, oh must check or uh, see whether uh, no need to check uh, two third of the chance or the answer is really rooted really uh, so therefore that's why they're strong uh, that's why uh, that's why they are known to be a very strong free kong uh, because they are really rooted to begin with uh, uh, then only this one uh, this one is the one uh, not rooted and sitting on water uh, so in fact uh, in fact, uh, the year, uh, in fact, this was Wu Zi was the year of 2008. Do you know what happened in the year 2008 or not? Anybody can remember what happened during that year? <laughs> the global financial crisis. crisis. 2008, the whole world uh, was in a global financial crisis. Uh, that was uh, Wu Zi. Uh, uh, 12 years later, was the Keng Zi. Keng Zi is, uh, Keng Zi is what, yeah? uh, the year of the global <laughs> pandemic. Uh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the year of the global pandemic. Uh? So nice. Uh? Okay, into the part. All right, uh, so therefore, Wu Zi is the symbolism that we need to look at. Uh? So, must be uh, sitting on, so sitting on water means. Uh, internal cave. Uh, therefore, this is something like uh, an internal 
internal lake, huh? like an internal lake. So water inside the mountain, huh? water inside the mountain. And since water represents wealth, wealth inside a mountain is people very good in capturing money, very careful and very good in keeping money. And water wealth uh, is secretive, mysterious. Uh, it's very mysterious. And Zi is a peach blossom. And because they are sitting on peach blossom, they are attractive. Uh, therefore, Wu Zi people are attractive because they're sitting on peach blossom. They are very good with their money. Uh, they, yeah, and of course, they can. And Zi is, of course, one of the signs that brings in the water. Uh, so therefore, they can pull in money yeah? I see and of all the six one this one likes to talk one uh, so therefore because inside empty ma. therefore it is empty but noisy la. so 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 if, if let's say you describe a wu person oh, I say hey, wu people very quiet one yeah except the wu zi la. that one talks a lot also la, because uh, in like a cave right, inside empty, yeah? so something along the line. Right? Therefore, it's a hidden pond among the. Uh, so this one can make money very quietly, you know? make money quietly, uh, but it tends to talk a lot. They can be very attractive. Right? So therefore, that is the symbolism for the people. You know? right, so we can look into that. So they are very mysterious. You wouldn't know what they have in their mind. Uh, uh, and therefore, that would be one part uh, they are sitting on the valve. So that, that would be it. They are usually more attractive, better looking as they are. And as usually, they are quite trustworthy. They sit on peach blossom. Therefore, they are able to uh, able to, to, to talk to people, to be attractive. And of course, can pull in the money, tendency to become rich. Uh, rich. And, and Wu also represents uh, property, so therefore they can buy property, they can keep. Huh? So therefore, that is uh, Wu Zi, huh? people that can look into that. All right, next on the opposite side, we will see sitting on fire. Sitting on fire, the Wu, Wu is, of course, horse, huh? the earth horse, volcano. Uh, peep, uh, this one got anger management problem on uh, uh, This one got anger management problem. Uh. So now we come on to the other one. Uh, the, this one got uh, anger management problem. In you know, the first part, uh, they, they got what is this? Uh, this is a chi earth. What is a chi earth to a wu earth? Uh, what is this? Rock well. Rock well. And what is thing fire to a uh, wu earth? Uh, thing fire resource direct resource huh? therefore hmm. but fire they are passionate huh? they have they're very resourceful their network huh? so therefore these are the strength of the earth huh? uh, the woo -woo, huh? that means the woo -woo, huh? into the area they are good at internalizing the anger huh? good at internalizing anger they are good in academics because they got direct resource huh? they are well in sports because they got rock wealth. Huh? So therefore, uh, good in rock wealth, good in sports, uh, good in academic because of their direct resource. And they really, really need water. Huh? They need water. Because if water is absent, it is auspicious. Okay, so the so again, uh, just from what I started from the beginning, uh, the useful God, you need to check the useful God when it comes into... Now, of course, you need to check useful God for all. Uh, but for Wu Earth, uh, it's easier. Uh, Wu Earth, easier to establish the need for useful God. Water or fire. So most of the time, it's either water or it's fire. Sometimes it may be just wood. Uh, metal, but seldom uh, you can find that metal is something that is of their useful god. Uh, as it is. All right, uh, so therefore, this would be the volcano. Uh. 
So Volcano eruption, we don't like them to be born during the day. We like to be born at sunrise or sunset. So for our time, a little bit of a time. A huh? little bit of a time. Uh, to be born at the daybreak of or so on. Uh, so this will be the Wu uh, that you can find. Uh, sorry, born during sunset? Uh, born during sunset or sunrise? When is what is oh. when is sunrise? The hour uh, of what? Uh, dragon. Dragon. That's right. Born at dragon hour, and dragon also is rooted, lah. Huh? Dragon hour. Born at dragon. And inside dragon got what, lah? Huh? What do you? What can you find inside a dragon? Um, dragon. Koi. Koi water. Okay. Uh, when is sunset? Uh? Is it horse hour? Half uh, horse is noon. Uh. Horse is wait, 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 horse wait, wait, is wait, 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 How about five to seven? What is five to seven? Uh? What is five to seven? Five o'clock to seven o'clock. Booster. Monkey. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lily mentioned monkey. Shun. Uh, oh, not yeah. rooster. Yeah, monkey. Uh, monkey got what? Monkey. monkey got what? Run. Water. Yeah. That's right. Therefore, if the useful god is water, then best born uh, in the hour of the dragon, best born in the hour of the monkey. Uh. So, therefore, a bit about sunrise, a bit about sunset, uh, then at least got water. Lah, huh? Therefore, that will be uh, best born at sunrise or sunset. Huh? Five to seven. Lah. Uh, because maybe in China, right, huh, the sunset is earlier a bit. Lah, huh? uh, you know, China. When you look into, uh, you can go here in Malaysia, uh, 715 is sunset. Lah, so, our sunset is in the hour of the dog. Huh, but the man, huh? So, therefore, that's a bit different. Alright. So, for this will be the wood wo uh, that you can find. Huh? As it is. Uh, therefore, that's where uh, uh, they need money. Uh, so the useful God for volcano, uh, volcano needs money. And because of the need for money, uh, there's a tendency to be, especially when there's no water in the chart. Uh, so you see a woo, woo without water in the chart, uh, uh, this can be very greedy people. Uh, then, uh, Trust is the opposite, really. So once again, uh, uh, of course we know that uh, wood. Uh, we, of course we know that wood. Sorry, it's so a wood. Like, we know that earth is known for trust, isn't it? Uh, we know that uh, we will say, that, oh, earth is known for trust. Uh, uh, but except for woo woo without water. Uh, so remember, fire is known for passion, but there's always exception. Uh, wood is known for benevolence, but once again, there's also there is an exception. Floating wood, not benevolent. Huh? Floating wood, too many, too much water, not good. Huh? Floating wood is not benevolent. Huh? All right. Therefore, that's where we will see uh, the, the, the description. Huh? You see volcano without water, uh, volcano without water, greedy. Huh? They become very desperate. And, uh, and, and because they are dry up, huh? they are dry up. And therefore, therefore, they they can be they tend to be uh, tend to do underground or illegal activities. They tend to break the law. Huh? They tend to break the law. And if they are born at night, then they can easily escape. Uh, then this is sometimes the gangster star, huh? the gangster star in the huh? if they are not easily. But usually, la, they cannot run away. La, huh? They cannot run away. No? Well, why can they not run away? Remember, why can they not? Why can the wu, wu not run away? Huh? Because one of the hidden is what? Thing fire. Huh? Because thing fire can never be hidden. Huh? Thing fire can never be hidden. Huh? Therefore, that would be the. Symbolism. 
All right. Uh, but of course, Wu people, uh, Wu people, uh, as usual, Wu people, as usual, always Cheng Kong. Uh, they, are, they are always, uh, uh, have the very strong ability to be successful. Uh, always have a very strong, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Cheng, Cheng Kong, sorry. Therefore, very, very strong success because that is also the symbolism for, uh, for the ability to be uh, strong uh, in, uh, fight in, in, uh, in persistent in the efforts. Uh. All right, uh, therefore, that would be in the area. And of course, Wu people tend to instill fear in other people. Uh, they can actually uh, do that. All right, there we go. So once again, uh, when you look into the Wu Earth, you need to see rooting. And now we have handled, we have handled two signs where rooting is not automatic. And now the other four signs, all of them are automatically rooted. Uh, they're all automatically rooted uh, because all of them has Wu Earth uh, supporting the day master immediately. Uh, you can see them here as well. All right, Wu Yin. Trust. Ah, now you want trust, you have to talk about uh, the Wu Yin uh, into the Yin. Okay, and what is Wu Yin? Wu Yin is tiger, isn't it? Uh, so therefore, now we are looking into earth tiger. When you have earth tiger, what does it have? It has friend. What is pink fire to this? What is pink fire to this? What is fire to the earth? Uh, the indirect resource. Indirect resource. And this is chia. Chia is what? This is wood. What is wood? Seven killing. Seven killing. Huh? So therefore, wood controls earth. Huh? So wood controls earth. So sitting on seven killing. Huh? Sitting on seven killing with indirect resource and fat. Huh? So therefore, this is and of course, remember just now we talk about uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is a uh, you know, I've also given you, I've also given you a bit more read up about uh, Michael Jackson's uh, and then of course we can track his life. You can read, uh, you can read later and track his life through the uh, so called uh, as, as you track through his luck pillar and see what happens to him. Uh into the area as well. You can also just uh, look at it. All right, uh, so the Wu Yin uh, sitting on tiger, sitting on tiger, sitting on the mountain of Ken. Uh, so therefore it sits on Ken in a way. Therefore it has unlimited growth. Uh, so it has very strong uh, area. It is auspicious when it meets seven killing uh, uh, eating God, wealth star, blade, uh, which is rock wealth. So meeting all this auspicious. Uh, it is okay, uh, into the park. Okay. Uh, therefore, this would be uh, th th this would be the, the symbolism for uh, a mountain, a tall spring mountain. Uh, what Wu Yin doesn't want to see, of course. Uh, now. Uh, Wu Yin, what is a useful God for Wu Yin? Huh? What is a useful God for Wu Yin? Water. Water. Uh, no need water really low. Spring. No need. Spring. Spring and winter. Hey. <laughs> I if one in spring and summer, I, I thought it requires spring and water. Summer yeah, 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 yeah. Water. Yeah, right. We're good. good. Water. You still got this? Water. Right. Okay, no? okay so it's only detriment is meeting monkey. Huh? So, okay, so because it sits on chia, chia uh, tendency is tends to be tall, huh? tends to be. And Wu Yin, one of the Fui Kong masters, normally Fui Kongs are very 
alone. Right? They're very alone and they can be quite merciless. Huh? So they're quite alone and they're also so quite merciless at times. So therefore, again, this is a very, very uh, strong character. And the thing about Wu Yin, huh? because they are very strong, they are very alone. Huh? They are very, they have a mysterious aura in them. Huh? They have a mysterious aura in them. And I think what a better way to put is uh, no, no, let's say for example, this is another, this is another win. I didn't print for it. This is Ariana Grande. Yeah? Ariana Grande is a very popular singer, huh? very popular actress. Right? Uh, in sing also, win, huh? also win. just like Michael Jackson. Huh? Uh, she's also, win, huh? and Michael Jackson also is, this is Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is also. Wu Yin. So Wu Yin people tend to be alone, huh? tend to be lonely. Uh, lonely because, you know, like they always say that it's always lonely to be at, at the top. Huh? Always lonely to be at the top. Huh? That, that, so the kind of uh, symbolism tends to be the symbol for Wu Yin as well. Huh? All right, huh? so this will be just uh, looking into sort of structures we have. <laughs> And now let's take a look into Wu Shen. Wu Shen, on the other hand, is not very tall, so very short. No? So therefore, they tend to be uh, very short. Wu Shen. Uh, uh, sitting on... Uh, Wu Shen Ren. is earth monkey. Uh, sitting on Ren. What is Ren? Ren, Ren, Ren is indirect wealth. Indirect wealth. What is Kung? Eating God. Eating God and friend. Yeah? Therefore, you got friend star, you got an indirect wealth, you got eating God. Therefore, this will be where the mission, yeah? sitting on eating God. Eating God is talent, yeah? creative talent. So therefore, here, a uh, mission sitting on talent. Yeah? So therefore, that's where sitting on a cave of minerals making money is no problem huh? making money is no problem and they too are able to uh, now the, the thing about shen is that there's metal huh? there's, there's there's metal sitting on metal huh? sitting on metal huh? now metal normally means speed metal also means execution Therefore, more of a doer. So therefore, of all the six Wu Earth, uh, Wu Shen is the executor, the doer. Uh, also, of course, Shen pulls in money. Uh, so when you can pull in money, also easy to make money. Uh, easy to make money. Uh, easy to make money. Uh, easy to... Uh, and now... What does the monkey? What does the monkey combines with? Huh? Shen combines uh, with what? Red dragon. Huh? Red dragon. Combine. No, no, oh, no, so, no. Uh, uh, six, six, six monkey, relationship. Oh, uh, monkey and two union. Ah, the two union, correct. What does the two, two union? Snake. Snake produces what? Water. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so when the snake comes, huh? when the snake comes, the snake will combine the shirt, huh? will combine the monkey. And combine the monkey, huh? Monk and, and shirt is metal. Huh? Therefore, this is a part where, where metal is revealed. And so when metal is removed, earth is unstable. Uh, therefore, health is not good. So when Wu Shen sees snake, uh, when it meets snake, uh, uh, then it may have health-related problems. Uh, that's how we can uh, come to this. Yeah, when this so not all combination. Uh, later, of course, we will learn about harm. We will learn about 
combination, destruction. Uh, not all combinations are good, of course, and not all destructions are bad, no? as usual. And therefore, sitting on eating God, no? sitting on eating God, uh, they have uh, a lot of very creative, rich animal, no? rich uh, materials. No? So therefore, they are very, very resourceful. Again, these are people that can be trusted, very good in making money, no? you know, make money. All right, uh, so, uh, so, so there you go. So this will be uh, primarily more about the shirt uh, that we actually do. And now of all the more powerful one, uh, all, uh, who are a lot of them are powerful one, uh, most of them are uh, Fui Kong stars. Uh, uh, therefore, Wu Chen is also another Fui Kong. Uh, this is uh, dragon, uh, Wu Chen is dragon. Definitely rooted uh, and Wu Chen. Let's take a look into Wu Chen. Where do we find Wu Chen? Wu Chen is here. Uh, what is Kui Water? What is Kui Water to Wu Chen? Uh, direct wealth. Direct wealth. Therefore, making money legally. Uh, so Wu Chen are uh, more law abiding. Uh, they do make the money legally. Because Fui Kong stars are sometimes also gangster stars huh? so therefore the volcano the volcano is a gangster this one also can be a uh, gangster also huh? so therefore this will be uh, actually most of them are so gangsters huh? but anyway so these are more of the business huh? the business one you eat, huh? so you eat is that huh? the one that can make money legally uh, all of them are uh, who are uh, all of them uh, have the power to make good Money, uh, they all to make, to make good money, uh, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And therefore, this would be uh, uh, the symbolism for, for it as well. But if for female, for female, uh, for female, now, if 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 you are looking to a female Wu Chen, what is the husband style of what is the husband style of a Wu Chen? Uh? Direct well. Huh? Direct well. Eh. Is it? Female husband. Uh, what is the husband style for a female? Oh, sorry. The direct officer. What is a direct officer to a female? Uh, e wood. Sorry? E wood. E wood, huh? Correct. <laughs> Correct. Huh? Yeah. Correct. Sure. Confident. Hopefully, yeah. we're good the confidence. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. Next time we say, yeah, of course. Huh? Okay. Therefore, <laughs> husband star. So the return there is a husband star. Indeed. So it sits down there. So it's, it's us. Huh? Uh, therefore, because why? Because husband is in grave. Huh? Because dragon is a graveyard star. Husband, a uh, turn, uh, dragon. Dragon is a graveyard star. Huh? Uh, so because dragon, uh, dragon is a graveyard. A graveyard for what? A graveyard for? Chen. Chen is a graveyard for what? For wood. Huh? For wood. And yeah. therefore, spring. the ye wood, uh, yeah, the dragon is the yeah, dragon is in spring, and spring, therefore, it's a graveyard for spring, uh, for the wood. Uh, therefore, husband is in wood. So, in that case, husband's health is not good. Uh, so, the reading uh, for a wooden husband, health not very good. But of course, but of course, if you see another wood, then okay, uh, if you see another wood on the heaven stem, then, then the reading is. Different, huh? so we are able to uh, see it that way. Okay, so they are very nice people. They are very academic. Therefore, they are also very uh, fun to do it all around. And I think more or less you can find it to be quite a persistent thing that Wu people are very, very capable. Of all the six one, they are the nicest people to live in. Huh? And... 
it's about the same thing again and again. Wu'er people are very stubborn. They can bring in money easily than the rest. So we do find uh, that actually there are many uh, quite well-known, successful people who are from the Wu uh, category as well. Uh, because to them, money uh, is water and water uh, occupies two-thirds of the earth. So therefore, making money uh, is uh, better for these people as well. And to make money, Wu Shi is one of the more powerful ones to make money. Huh? So these are the tycoons and the empire builders. So tycoons, empire builders, these are the Wu Shi category. Huh? Wu Shi, mountain, again, another Fui Kong stars. Huh? And, but Wu Shi is definitely, definitely there should be there should be quick. There should be quick. There should be water for this person to be rich. Uh, no water, then not rich uh, at all. Then it becomes desert. Uh, then it becomes a desert. It becomes isolated. Isolated and dry up because uh, she is really autumn and after summer. Uh, therefore, it's a dry earth kind of uh, symbolism. And very afraid of what? Huh? They are very afraid of the dragon. Because when dog clashes with dog and dragon clash, isn't it? Yes. Huh? Dog clash with dragon. Dragon. Huh? So dog clash with dragon. Therefore, when it clashes with the dragon, uh, sometimes the, this is known as a back-facing water formation. Huh? And the symbolism is that it, 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 uh, this one looks like what? Huh? This one looks like a, a water tank, isn't it? Huh? A tank container. Yeah. Huh? So therefore, if it bursts, huh? therefore it releases water. Because whenever earth and earth clashes, huh? whenever we see an earth and earth clash, what is the other clash? Huh? Ox and what? Huh? Ox and goat. Ox and goat. Okay. So whenever we see earth and earth clash, norm uh, normally earth and earth clash means it releases. Uh, it releases. Uh, because earth, uh, because earth is a storage. Earth is storage. Earth is tomb. And within earth has many, many hidden elements on. And so whenever they clash, they will release all these elements out. No? Uh, therefore, that will be the symbolism for Earth. So normally when we see Earth and Earth clashes, it normally means change of job or sometimes moving house. No? So sometimes people do move house when they have an Earth and Earth clash. No? And so therefore, that would be sometimes the symbolism for uh, analyzing a clash when you have a sheet no? clashing in. As well. All right, so far it is a mineral mountain, a mineral mountain. So far, mineral mountain, very, very uh, resourceful. And again, they are very ruthless, huh? merciless, because these are all Free Kong. And Free Kong stars are very hard to kill. Huh? These are the people, very, very hard to kill uh, into the end. Huh? And of course, uh, in a way, la, if you, if you know Wu, Wu is already the sword la, with the thing, and this one is already the part. La, and, th and this one normally dog, la, normally, dog normally means thing, la, thing uh, plus uh, in a way the spear, la, so the spear. So that's all, uh, that's why most of them all end up as Fui Kong stars, la, and the reading is all about uh, the same, and they are tycoon, la, they can become very strong tycoon. So, so usually we would like to see uh, sometimes uh, having this Wu in the chart. Uh, it, it makes the person uh, it makes the person uh, able to have the energy, uh, the energy to, to make money and to push themselves uh, to be successful. But normally the price of being a Wu uh, 
is a weaker relationship with spouses. Huh? Uh, usually, la, usually in the in a pachi, uh, dog is the worst spouse pillar you can have. And so Wu Shi is of course, I hope I pronounce it correctly. Wu uh, Shi is, uh, is dog. Therefore, dog uh, normally represents uh, a, 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 a very, a, a, not a very good relationship uh, because they seem to be cold. They, they don't seem to be very, very uh, loving. Uh, but again, uh, they, are, they can be exception. They can be exception, but that is just usually uh, the, the reading uh, from uh, from from the set as well. And by the way, uh, dog also means cancer. Huh? What? Cancer, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, dog also means cancer. Huh? Uh, dog means cancer huh? because inside the dog, inside the dog you have uh, fire, you, because inside the dog you got a fire metal clash. Internal. So if I can see uh, that, that there is a clash, uh, in internal clash, uh, there is an uh, internal clash. Uh, uh, therefore, that would be something because the thing controls the scene uh, in the inner. Uh, Lily asked both, uh, for both, we are correct. For both also the same. Hmm? Uh, for both also the same. Uh? Uh, now, so sometimes, uh, sometimes when we say, okay, when we say that the worst spouse pillar, that's because they are so career focused, they are so ruthless and merciless that they don't become very good spouse partner huh, with their husband and wife. Huh? Price to pay, huh? so each of these elements, they are price to pay. Huh? So today's uh, day masters, strong, huh? this all very strong, very stubborn, very hard headed, very procrastinate uh, and they all can uh, but they are representing trust uh, and many of them are free kong stars uh, that will be the reading for the wu people uh, but but not just wu uh, if it is in your luck pillar it also means the same thing if, if you have it on your year if you have it on your month it, it also carries the same element so go and check whether do you have uh, uh, where in your chart uh, each and every one uh, on this uh, uh, part pillar that you also would have uh, into the symbolism as well. All right, uh, so in a way, let, let, let me just run through the chat again. Okay, can somebody just type into the chat when was Michael Jackson born? Uh, can you just look in the chat and give me the date again? Uh, just let me just check again. Let me just uh, make it easy if I can. Uh, Michael. When is Michael Jackson born? Huh? Anybody? Just help me out here. Michael Jackson is born where? 29 August? Uh, 29 August 1958. 1958. Okay. 29 August 1958. And hour? What is the hour? Uh, I don't have it here. Mm -hmm. The audio. Uh, oh, we don't have it here. Huh? Then go to uh, hour above uh, nineteen thirty three. Sorry, nineteen thirty three, seven thirty three PM. 7.33 p.m. Therefore, huh? so 7.33 p.m. Okay. Therefore, right. so this would be Michael Jackson's part. Huh? So this is just, just, just another chart huh? to show that very quickly that we go. Right? So we already looked at the chart early on. So this is uh, born in autumn, isn't it? So autumn, useful God is fire it is both fire it is rooted so therefore this is very strong huh? Huh? so therefore that would be its symbolism uh, i so i've given you the i've given you this part ready 
So therefore, uh, time is a little bit, right? Okay. This one say born in the, oh, this, this new, you know where it is? Okay. I'm not too sure whether this is correct or not, right? Because here, according to, this is by Dato J. Yap. Puts the hour, has the hour of the snake, huh? Put the hour to the hour of the snake. Uh, anyway, when, when does, when did he pass away, huh, anyway? He passed away in, uh... okay, no, no, I just want to consider a few things. Now, most of, most of us would know his story, huh? most of us would know his story. So anyway, I think that the, the next part is after we uh, after we go through, I oh, oh, sorry, uh, died in two thousand and nine, uh, twenty fifth of June, two thousand and nine. twenty fifth of June, twenty fifth of June, two thousand and nine. Correct. Okay, let, let me just experiment this for a while, huh? Okay, so and anyway, uh, the, the one that Dr. Joey Yap uh, put on mention it was, it was born in the hour of the snake. Huh? So the reading would be a bit. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, I've been looking into some of these charts. So Michael Jackson died in the year 2009. Huh? That is why uh, in uh, one, of the, one of the old cultures of Chinese, huh? Chinese culture is they tend to celebrate the 11th year birthday uh, as a very major birthday. Because, you know, uh, uh, in the ancient days, uh, uh, children die, uh, I mean, well, with, with, with all those diseases, like smallpox, uh, polio and everything, uh, the, the, uh, there's a high fertility among infant, uh, infant fertility. So if they can survive the first luck pillar, uh, as they go into the second luck pillar, is normally considered to be a grand celebration. And since many illiterate Chinese doesn't know how to read the chart, so they just put there as 11. Uh, safest is 11 uh, because that's the maximum uh, for a 10-year luck pillar. Therefore, uh, if the child reaches the age of 11, major birthday celebration. Uh, because congratulations, you have survived your first luck pillar. You come into the second luck pillar, then we have another celebration for you on the 21st birthday. Uh, because that means you have survived and move on to the third luck pillar. So sadly, of course, Michael Jackson did not move on to the next luck pillar huh? because at the year 2009, he kind of died, huh? uh, so to speak. Uh, therefore, usually like, when you look into luck pillar, uh, of all of the five reasons, huh, on, of the five ways to look into the death, one, of course, is the crossing of the luck pillar huh? that we do find that because the moment you cross the luck pillar, there will be, a, especially when this is a water luck pillar. It's a water luck pillar. And so these three decades of water, uh, it's a very, very crucial uh, move to the next luck pillar. Uh, and then move on into the, the wood luck pillar that you can have as well. Uh, so to speak. And wood, of course, the tiger. The tiger clashes with the monkey. Uh, the tiger clashes with the monkey, uh, so to speak. So you can come into here as it is. And of course, this chart, right, in a way, doesn't have right, this chart. Of course, you have to look into what is the useful God, as you can see. For autumn, what is the useful God? What is the useful God yeah. for those born in autumn? Huh? Fire, thing, thing and thing. Hmm? Fire. Fire. Thing and thing. Thing and thing. What? They born in autumn and winter, the earth requires warm. So therefore, the element would be uh, fire uh, coming in, no? into the light. All right. So therefore, here, I think uh, you can look at the case as we... Uh, just, just a bit of an introduction. Uh, we are just introducing a bit. Slowly, slowly. I, I like to introduce different, different topics uh, a little bit here and there. So therefore... Uh, maybe we don't, when we jump straight away, at least you would have heard a bit here and there. So, as you know, uh, your luck pillar is every 10 years. Uh. So, Michael Jackson is male. And male, uh, here, this is... Now, when you look into it, after you can see that this is the month of the monkey, then this is rooster. 
and then this is dog, this is pig. So is this lock pillar a direct cycle or indirect cycle? I hope you know uh, what I'm Reverse. Is this a reverse cycle or a direct cycle? Oh, direct, 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 forward, direct means forward, 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 because normally, like, normally if I ask you after monkey is what, after monkey is, rooster, uh, after rooster is, dog, dog, and after dog is, pig, pig, red, ox, isn't it, therefore yes. this is direct cycle, isn't it, Oh, it's called direct. Okay, for your uh, words. Okay. Di di a forward cycle. Uh, forward, direct cycle okay. or forward cycle. Uh, not a reverse cycle. Uh, into the, the season. Uh, into the season. Okay. Uh, into the end. Uh, into the end. Therefore, this is where we can uh, look more into it. Uh, therefore, Okay, all uh, right. So there you go. So this will be just a bit more slowly uh, as we come to uh, introduce more of the other jargons, uh, like useful gods. You know, we need to know, we already introduced the 10 gods. We need to know the useful gods. We also need to know a little bit more about uh, uh, what are the elements. And of course, uh, of course, Michael Jackson is uh, Earth Tiger, Earth Tiger, illusion. Born uh, and his year is also the Wuxi, uh, which is of course uh, a mm -hmm. commander star, a free form star. So a very very strong chart. Uh, so you can see this chart is quite uh, strong. Mm -hmm. as, uh, in, in. Okay, all right. There you go. So this will be just a little bit more about it. More to come as we uh, could completely wrap it up. So I'll see you now. So I think that's about the Oh, I've exceeded quite a far margin. Tomorrow is a working day. So I'll close up here. See, I'll save the video, upload it for you. Then this coming Sunday, we will then cover, what do we cover? We'll cover the G -G -R, uh, uh, the most talkative of all the elements. Huh? That's it. Most nurturing as well. All right, good night. So if any questions yeah. you post, uh, I'll try to respond to you. Save up the video and let you know that. Okay, guys, Thank everybody, you. good night. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night.